centers and this particular community we're limited in resources uh, but we're not limited in scope and desire and creativity because you have the Ohlone community here you have people in Polynesian arts here we have you know Irish dancers we have folkloricos here across the span in this community so when you look at that spectrum to be able to have a facility where you could produce events from that spectrum reflecting the community from Santa Cruz down to Watsonville, it's an exciting idea. There are an awful lot of performing arts groups in this area and uh, to have a, a more formalized venue for, for them to use, something that's maybe not up on the hill like we are, is can be nothing but positive. And just Speaking personally, the more theater, the better. So up-and-coming companies like Jewel Theater um, could really take advantage um, because we are growing, and so the more ability we have to, to put on um, the, the regular and the quirky stuff and the great technically savvy, interesting, um, pushing the envelope stuff, I think it just will draw more people to everybody's work. There would be a place where I could perform with artists of different disciplines. I think that's the real difference it would make in this town, is to have a really professional space showcasing a lot of the different talent in one central place. And I think it would be a cultural attraction for people outside of the community if they just know they can come to the tannery and that's kind of the spot to go check out. So rather than just having an audience that's willing to you know, put up with a um, sitting on the floor on a pillows in a casual space, we could bring some of the people from Monterey, people from San Jose, people that might otherwise drive a little further to San Francisco for um, a high production, you know, full evening theater experience, and we could bring those kinds of audiences here. We actually have found through surveys that about 30% of the people that contact the Visitors Council are interested in cultural activities and events. Visitors who attend cultural events actually spend over nine million dollars a year in addition to the ticket prices for an event that they're going to. So an additional impact of nine million dollars a year to our community in travel spending every year. There's nothing like this campus anywhere else in the United States. We have the Lib Work Units, um, we're going to have the Open Studios, uh, we're going to have Santa Cruz Valley Theater, and the theater itself, and I think that's going to be a draw for the entire community. I just hope and pray that our little boy is into theater as much as we were because I would just love to have him involved with shows here at the tannery and have him learn how to set up lights and work a sound, sound booth and do all the technical stuff that daddy does and maybe see him up on the stage. And... <laughs> Phase three will really uh, bring the community in. Um, I think at that point they'll have an opportunity to see plays, uh, ballet, the restaurant. It will be a, it will really finish this whole program, and uh, it will be the culmination of, of this uh, uh, great endeavor. <laughs> it's going to be an incredible gift that I could be performing on that stage and in, invite people from around the country or around the world to. to do big productions and perform on this this massive wonderful stage and to think about the, the young people now and being able to grow up and just have that building to inspire them to want to be performing on that stage. So right now this is the best thing that can happen for us uh, in Santa Cruz who make shows. That We have a new theater that's available to the community and is not geared, first of all, to a college uh, campus, but is geared to bringing in shows from the community. This is ours. This is Santa Cruz's. Well, the project is well underway and has proven itself to be successful. And now that phase one, so to speak, is completed and time to go on to the other phases, why it's obvious that there's a need to raise more money 
and um, everybody in the community really should get involved and kind of feel like they own a piece of this because this is for the whole Santa Cruz County and beyond. I think what the Tannery Arts Center does is it takes advantage of that artistic uh, brilliance that we have and uh, allows it to flourish and uh, really do a good job economically as well as artistically for everyone. It's, it's a good project and I encourage you to contribute to it, to make, to help make it happen.